Welcome back to the Mozilla Festival. We're lucky to have uh, Jesse Shapins from uh, Ziga. He's going to introduce us to the project. So, Jesse, what's it about, really? So, Ziga is really about revolutionizing web publishing for future beyond blogs. Um, in our mind, we're really trying to create tools that let anybody experiment with the web as a creative medium. Right now, really, what we find online is that we're still most able to work with a format that is from print publishing. You're able to combine, you're able to have images, you're able to have sound, you're able to have video in a long list. Tumblr is wonderful for this, but there's no tools right now that let you work with image and sound and video all together to create immersive experiences. And that's what we believe the future of sort of truly web native creativity looks like. So we're talking a lot about storytelling uh, tools yeah. at Mozilla this yeah. year. Popcorn JS uh, and now Popcorn Maker yeah. uh, is one of, of them. Uh, how do you see Ziga working uh, with this kind of tools? Is it something uh, in collaboration, something apart? Yeah. So we, we actually work closely with Mozilla and close friends with everybody working on the Popcorn project. Um, and Popcorn JS library is built into Ziga itself. All the time-based events and video and media handling is done with the, the library. And we're also now working on making it possible for things that are made with the Popcorn Maker to be used within Ziga and vice versa. So even just yesterday, so Brett Gaylor and myself and Karen James, um, Brett's uh, the director of the Popcorn project, um, Karen James, the other founders of Ziga, um, we ran a session with Ingrid Kopp from... Uh, the Tribeca Film Institute around a web documentary manifesto. So kind of getting all the kind of people in the room that are really thinking about the future of storytelling. What does it mean for storytelling to be native to the web? Not just sort of on the web, but truly native to the web. It was a fantastic, kind of crazy, wonderful conversation. And at the end of the festival, we hope to have a manifesto actually written and authored in Ziga. So maybe you can show us directly uh, what is Ziga about. I see you have your laptop ready. Yeah. Maybe you can show us uh, some of the projects. Sure. So I'll be happy to do that. So we can start. We'll just look very quickly. These are two just very playful things that people have made with Ziga. Ziga can be used for animations. So very simply, there's this cat jumping. Great music, great fun. Something that was, somebody put together in just like less than less than 30 seconds. Um, um, this is just slightly more serious, but still on the very playful side. Is a haunted house. So with Ziga, you can author interactivity. And so you can create links in the context of an image. And you can have images uh, really then turn into interfaces. So this crazy, scary house where this foot is inside. Um, but let's look at something also um, a, little more, uh, a little more serious. Um, so this is a project. Um, this is something that was done actually based on a blog post um, that was around sort of the photographs of Steve Duncan, who's an explorer of spaces beneath New York City and Los Angeles and other cities. Um, we'll skip the intro. What we have here are these photographs, these beautiful images um, of Steve downtown. And when you're seeing a Ziga project down here in the lower left, what you see are all the citations. So this is all the sound, this looping sounds that were from SoundCloud. Those go back to those original sources. Um, same with those images as well. Um, and one more uh, project I could show you is something, this one's just uh, something that we just recently discovered somebody was working on, this uh, electromagnetismo. So Ziga has been used um, all around the world right now. And this is somebody down in Argentina um, who created this whole kind of series of pieces about electricity. <laughs> um, and you can really see in these examples how different of a feeling this is for the web. This really is much more of a visual, audio, visual, video experience than the traditional kind of blog that really is what we still are used to when we think about the web. And for um, the future of uh, storytelling and, and media makers, how can we get that? How can we try this tool? So, so you can, anybody can sign up right here. So if you uh, look at our uh, homepage, you can sign up right there. Um, and then you'll get an account and you can log in. I can just show you. It's a really, really simple, easy to use interface. Um, it's not designed for programmers. It's designed for anybody that wants to sort of just play and experiment um, online. You just log in, um, have your own account, have your own profile, and you can start making projects. So this is the editor. lets you just drag and drop media. So here is a image of the Ravensbourne College. You know, if we want to go inside one of these windows, make a little uh, link around that. Inside, we uh, get this sequence. Let's pretend that there's uh, Conan O'Brien 
inside, right there. <laughs> so um, you can just see it's a really simple interface to use, and anybody can use this now. So it's great we see that Colonel Brian already used Ziga. It's fantastic. Uh, what's the f future for Ziga from now? Is it a exporting project into popcorn? Is it importing project? Uh, what do you, do you see future of collaboration, future in, in newsroom, people using this? What yeah. are you uh, planning for the next things? Um, so um, right now, um, right now we're in the process of ourselves working closely with a lot of journalists and filmmakers around the world. Um, we have a series of new projects that we're just releasing around custom sort of web apps running on the Ziga API. So there's an open source community that's around being able to write simple backbone boilerplate applications. Um, we're seeing this taken up frequently by producers. And so if you go to our homepage, you can start to see some of these projects. We're also working closely with larger media organizations. Um, I've met a wonderful person here from Al Jazeera. Um, but really supporting the community. I mean, this is about a community of people that are creative and really passionate about finding new ways to express themselves, tell stories, and experiment with media online. And can you remind us website for people to visit? So, ziga.org. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Jesse, for looking to us. This was Mark for Vision on TV.